What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Guys, it really has seemed like Brother Boyce Watkins is having a tough time in these streets, brothers. Um, seems like Dr. Boyce Watkins having a tough time. Uh, I reported that just yesterday, uh, the brother lost his Instagram and Facebook account. All of which I, I can say I generally feel uh, sorry for Dr. Boyce Watkins because of that. And despite the fact that I generally don't care for Dr. Boyce Watkins and his content, in no way, shape, or form do I believe that he is so egregious that he should lose what I would generally consider his part of his income when it comes to his YouTube channel. I don't believe that. I do not believe Brother Boyce deserves to lose his income. I just don't, right? So this is something that I want to deal with um, in general, all right? Now, Brother Boyce made a mistake with going after Brother Corey Hogan. That was a bad move, all right? I'm a pretty funny guy somewhat of a roaster one of the things i will never make the mistake of is going after Corey hokum that's something you don't do okay this is what boyce did as a dumbass uh shout out to brother falset media who caught this now i'm going to play it is bad i'm going to play this clip <clears throat> via falset media i want you to hear how cooked up brother boyce is going to get <clears throat> and it's sad because he really waxed him down. I'm telling him, like, just salon waxing. Well, let's go ahead on and check it out. Boy. I, just gotta, I just gotta finish off one of my probably world's greatest destructing acts on um, Moist. Moist oh, yeah. I want to start the show out this week by showing yet another. Oh, no. Wait. I've never. Are you form kidding? of disrespect. Finish him. <laughs> this is a wedding day photo, I believe, and it is quite shameful, Mr. Watkins. <laughs> Your problems That's mount. Terrible. Have you ever seen this picture, D? No, I have not. What about Honest you, Martin? God. Honest to God. No. This one worse than the last one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This is the man's wedding day. Who's the guy, who's the fella? Okay, Boyce is the one looking goofy. I can't see it's cut off from here. And my brother Willie D. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. Is the face. one she looking like, why couldn't it be you? <laughs> That's terrible. If I'm sorry. This, I don't mean to if be you was, If you was a random person and you looked at this picture, you would think Willie D would be the one marrying her. He's the one walking her down the Willie aisle. Willie D looking at her like, no, <laughs> go up there and get married to this man. <laughs> you gotta play it off. Hey. This is ridiculous, dog. He looked like the daddy walking her down the aisle. <laughs> yeah, that's what we want to keep saying, but we got two, I got too many body language photos just like this. But it can catch it in a hot second, so I'm just, I'm just. You giving him the benefit of the doubt. On your wedding day, you gonna be looking at another man like that, D? That means yes, no. you you get down like she get down. Listen, bro. Listen, bro. I want to talk to Mr. Watkins and let him know that even though you made a mistake and threw a match at a flamethrower with Corey Holcomb, I'm not mad at you. But somebody has to explain this shit right here. All right? Look at how... Boys, you see how Willie do Willie D suit fit them? That's how yours supposed to fit on your wedding day. Uh. You look off the rack like a m <laughs> <laughs> You and Marcus got the most uh, up suits. <laughs> if Marcus, this is one of the Fourth of July Marcus had on a suit that fit him just like this. No, you got you that. see this shit, man? <laughs> Get a tailor, man. man. Why you got? Oh my! You got a jumpsuit in the fedora on right now, man. What are you talking about? I'm a weirdo. <laughs> Back on this P 
pity mission. I heard this week the brother said about his wife. Okay. Look at this picture of her. Do you know how many Italian men want my wife? <laughs> <laughs> That's when I really felt sorry. I made sure to highlight that right up front in my video. For him, I was like, maybe he really don't get it. That's Why like would you say? Do you know how many Italian men want my wife? That that that's that how, means he want his wife to get smashed by Italian. That's all. Just say he put that's the value. He, he put value in the Italian men. He said Italian and Asian men too. I think that's that's what he look up to. He want them to be like. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't drunk. He, he wasn't just don't know how to talk. Mr. Watkins, you should stop talking. Every time you talk, you you lose more and more credibility, man. Like it's a lot of people who perpetrate like they smart, but then when you listen to them talk, you be like, "Oh, this is stupid, man." <laughs> man I ain't even mad at him no more, man. The man need help mentally. He is. Hurting, hey, boys, I've been in relationships with women that didn't treat me worth a shit also. But you know what? I'm an OG now. I ain't finna be stuck up in no up shit, but you late in life, stepping into this. Look at that. <laughs> oh, my God. I, I, I actually feel bad for you. The man said everybody calling him a simp. For the wrong reason, and I know he was doing it on purpose. Mm. I got a woman that adore me, that got my back, and I would get down on one knee in front of the world for her. If you ain't have gout, if, <laughs> if, if, if yeah, if I didn't have gout, like Marcus said. <laughs> but I'm saying, like, getting on one knee for a woman that you love don't make you a simp. Getting on one knee. For somebody who came back out the streets like Forrest Gump girl did. Out. That was simpish about what you did. So guys, you heard what he had to say. Again, I, now let me just say this. These are things that we've heard before about boys. And shout out to Uncle Willie D. I really, I really love Willie D. Okay. He's a good brother. I talked to what he do before on the phone. Very nice guy. But I, I, I want to deal with this bigger part, this bigger issue that Corey Holcomb is bringing up. Is that when you listen to Boyce talk, we think that Boyce is intelligent based off of his academic achievements. And then it becomes very clear that Boyce Watkins is not that smart at all. This is something that is very clear. Like, it is something that is very truthful. This is not being mean, mean or not. And the more he talks, and the more, like, let's say, for example, he's dealing with a lot of black men and black women issues, the more he moves the goalposts, the more you're like, man, this guy is not that intelligent and there is a reason why that boy doesn't sound intelligent because boys has tried to reduce himself down from an intellectual to the commonplace you know everyday thinking of the average negro that he may assume is in his audience now i can't say that it is or not but what happens is because boys does so much caping and, 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 and he does so much simping. The reality is, is that Boyce ends up sounding as dumb as the people he's complaining about. And he makes it very easy to pick on him because Boyce typically doesn't make a lot of sense. He uses ad hominem arguments all the time. I've talked about that in the past. He says silly things that don't make any goddamn sense. And, and the reality, you know, because of those mistakes, it, 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 it makes people doubtful. When you look at these pictures, it definitely looks like. Boy, she don't want to deal with you. 
And the more that you see the evidence and the more you're running your mouth, it also makes me believe that the lady has no respect for you. It just seems that way. Again, this is not being mean. It is not any of that. It just, like I said, looks bad. And this is what we're dealing with. And that voice is very phony. In my opinion, you're very fake, you know, from what I can tell. I mean, and it's all good if your voice, you want to dust it up and be whatever. But that's the situation. It sounds like a lot of times that Boyce's PhD doesn't mean anything because his arguments are baseless. Especially when it comes to situations with black men and black women. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again for the episode of The Slippery Junk. All right, but you should follow the bell. I'm out.